All right, back to it. Back to it. These are kind of whatever. Yeah. Okay. So I believe we have one mission right now, right? Yeah. So at the moment, we don't have any current side quests, although you can, like, walk down the wrong hallway and end up with a side quest. So we'll see about that. Find Marshall. Hope informs Jesse that Marshall went to the research sector to create more HRAs. Jesse believes Marshall may know more about Dylan. So we'll have to see about, th see about that. Yeah. Get the spot off my glasses. There we go. All right, misclicked. In the research sector. I hope the survivors and research are closer to finding a solution for this. What if we're the only ones left? They seem buggy. Like she seems to be talking to him. He keeps gesturing, but to keep getting only one of them playing. It's too bad they're kind of awkwardly implemented. Like, if you walk, like, right here-ish, they have a tendency to not play the subtitles at all. But if I'm right... I think he's talking to her. They might have stopped. It's weird, it's only playing one side of the conversation half the time. Oh. Huh. No, that, that might have been a one-off. That might have been a one-off. Uh, am I supposed to feel aimless in this game? I can't tell. And that might sound a little weird to say. Oh, research sector. Oh, the elevator's opened up and can go to these other places now. Gotcha, okay. I'm like, I don't see a waypoint? I don't know. That's the one thing that intimidates me about doing this playthrough. It's not a big deal or anything, but it's just like... It's such a complicated looking map of like tiny, tiny hallways snaking all over each other in a crazy vortex. Like, it's not a Silent Hill map. It's a scary looking map. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's a spaghetti monster nightmare thing as opposed to like... What's it, like the cleanliness of like a Silent Hill map, for example, or a or a Metroidvania map, and so I've definitely had a lot of moments where I'm just like, I don't, I can't tell where I'm going. Hey, Central Research. To the research we saw a glimpse of this before, right? The cool garden area. That's badass. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So. This is where the magic happens. Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance. And in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Was Rome built in a day? Does a flower, sp does a tree grow overnight? These are the questions. I'm sorry. God, the surge is just left a permanent inflection and permanent impact or whatever. I don't remember the exact lines, but Jesus Christ, that whole zone where you got to the R&D zone, like this one, and there was a screen playing like that, except it just looped forever. Well, the whole time you're in the zone, it's looping. It's like, stop, stop. I'm gonna try very hard not to shoot anybody in this game that's like floating around on the off chance that like maybe you can save them someday. That's not what I meant by floating. <laughs> you know what I meant. You can't trick me, game. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. You're not the right floaty person. I almost hit them. Thankfully there was no lock on because they're not a real enemy. Oh, I just deleted that guy. 
Wow. They're usually really good at dodging me, but that guy did not dodge. He got kerpliterated from existence. You guys should be scared. I've been powering up this skill exclusively. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gross. Oh, I was like, where's the enemy? Where are we at? Eh, 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 eh. We are outside of effective combat range, I think. You come to me, I'm gonna explore. Plant complaint. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants and research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe he could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where'd these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted. And people like them, people like them a bit too much if you ask me. Are we being invaded by house plants? Worth looking into. Dr. Lewis. No one knows where the plants came from, they're just here. Huh. Whoa. I shot through the screen and broke the glass behind it, but the screen, the, the, the computer itself is unharmed. Oh, never mind. It is more harmed than I initially estimated. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Aw. Right in front of the projector. A glimpse into the paranatural. Synchronicity and unseen connections. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable causality, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is, un is unified in ways we do not understand, and sometimes we stumble across the invisible unseen chords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Jung, Carl Jung, Jung, it could be either, depending on the origins, uh, laid the road. Now we must walk it. By fledgling, uh, my fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce behavior by the, cl the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. He's very... Yeah. That's just, I'm just used to that. The very the general tech company feel of like... Very hyper-inflated sense of self. Howdy. Got him. You thought you were out of range, but you were not. This is such a beautiful building. This particular area. With the giant trees in the middle and everything. Which are massive trees. This open space doesn't serve much purpose besides generating a lot of echo. <laughs> We didn't start the fire. But I put it out by hitting with the canister. Oop, be gone. I think this is just more corpses vanishing. Hi. Guys, I'm up here. Where are you going? You've been very naughty. That was a bit of an ouchie. I'll have to admit. Did not appreciate that. Yeah, I figured. It makes video game noises. Yay. Whoa. Uh, I feel like I should be worried about that. I don't really trust that fully. You gonna get me? Are you gonna get me murdered? 
Are you gonna do a murder on me? Pour some murder on me. Gonna kill me dead. Can I have a flashlight, please? Nah, nah, not quite. Because, of course, I saw that and I was like, oh, is that column they're joining? Because they always find a place to put it in somewhere. And I could see brutalist architecture mixing with column they're joining pretty well. But no, this seems to have more the texture of, like, those teeth that you have on, like, a... Not a shredder, a grinder, whatever it's called. That machine that mulches stuff up that they like they make they make gimmick videos out of it where they're like ah oh, put a teddy bear in it and stuff like that those kinds of things it looks like those big grinder things like they'd be sp like those things those things would be slowly spinning like slowly and those teeth would like destroy whatever object is in it some kind of destruction device thing I'm worried about going in these hallways because I feel like it's going to kill me the ashtray maze oh yeah this isn't even my goal. <clears throat> but I'm exploring and it looks neat. It also looks, uh... Uh... Honestly, it feels like something from that movie. You know, the movie that I can't think of... Uh, <laughs> the Shining, there we go. I'm here for this. All the paintings are of the room I'm in. What? What is happening? Was the light just blinking at me? Like it was a clue? I bet there's a clue of some kind I have to follow. Oh, or I just go. I don't know, this is new. the last thing there's the diagonal one again that one that one fell down that one fell over more things are getting more and more disheveled Am I getting any- the question is, am I getting any deeper, though? Not really. You can shoot up the paintings. The radiator. In heaven, everything is fine. In heaven. <laughs> um. Not handling going, having the wall face through it very well. And I've got mine. I wonder if these are a clue. Like, what if you looked at these and there was, like, a missing object in one of them? And, like, that difference between the two paintings would be, like, the clue? And I'm checking the different aspects. They all seem to be matching.
<laughs> Wait, it went back on the wall. What the fuck? <laughs> that was a strange physics interaction we got there. How is it staying on the wall at that point? Oh, the wow, the music cut out. That was or all the audio cut out for a second there. That was weird. What was that? Sparks, I guess? That's interesting. The lights are destructive. We're learning things. Even the potted plant. I mean, you don't get a lot of opportunities in video games to shoot down a ceiling fan. That's a fun thing. I should really shoot it with less destructive force, though, so I can pick it apart a little bit. Nope. Oh, it, does, it doesn't like staying on. Oh, it didn't break it, uh, fall apart this time, though. Like, each individual... Each individual blade of the fan is destructible. But surprisingly, the whole thing falls off when you shoot any of the of the blades. I would kind of think that you could damage the blade or something. Hmm. Well, this was a fun curiosity. I think I'm gonna move on for now, though. So I don't think this is what I'm here to do, necessarily. I get the feeling that there's going to be some kind of... Yeah, the fire break. This is an impossibly large, stru large structure, by the way. Which I'm sure is intentional, too. I'm sure we'll get context for why... this, What I can do with this place. So we'll wait until then. Wham, wham. Oh, Jesus, that startled me. <laughs> The abrupt- the force and, and abruptness of the explosion just generally surprised me. It was just a little bit more than I was expecting. Ooh. Ooh! This looks a lot like a crystal lattice structure. Recently. Regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And... What's the deal with the Hedron resonance anyway? Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and you'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. I like that guy. But also, that was depressing. <laughs> That's just a real bummer. He's like, he just know he just knows how fucked they are. And he's just trying to deal with it before it's too late. Ah, that seems to be what these model were a model of. Like a cube within a cube sort of setup. Whoa. A lot of stuff back there fell over. Look at the look at that physics. That's fun. Doesn't quite look right, but it's getting there. What? Bulletproof fan. What? And you can also shoot through the back. My God. I feel like half the locations that have all those cool interactions aren't even places where you're likely to have that much of a gunfight. 
some of the some of the physics interactions are strange. Yay! Like an Overwatch. Ah, uh, but it falls over relatively quickly, so you can't keep it spinning. Ah, uh, happy face, sad face. <clears throat> There'd be a lot of documents here. Oh, right. Impervious to my power. <laughs> the astral plane and objects of power. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle determined by Jungian archetypes and the collective subconscious would be inhabited by paranatural energies when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the and the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane, and the objects were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully the truth will emerge. Math. <laughs> what? Hiss nodes. 20 minutes. Um, is there anybody else to deal with these things? I think I'm kind of busy, frankly. Eh. Bit of comms. Try and do something. Hmm. I guess it's a way of have adding a random variable to everything, so it feels more like this is a living, breathing place where stuff's happening in it, I suppose. I think it's still moving. Oh, that one's losing its mind a little bit. We gotta put it out, out of its misery. I don't know if I can. There you go. Nope, not all better. Yeah, it's still freaking out a little bit. They gave him two strings, and it just doesn't quite know what to do with that. You can see, like, there's a weirdness to, like, how it's, both of the strings are somehow both slack, yet it's still posed there. Like, the physics here just doesn't quite make sense. It's just, whatever's going on here is just, just strange. The trying, though. It's trying. Darling. No, it didn't. Oh, there we go. Darling, budget request. Dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague Dr. Harrington has already contacted you asking for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel. All fuss but no results. Parakinesiology has always been the stronger department. More breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think of what those additional resources can do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown at your desk. Yours in admiration, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Interdepartment drama. No, my department deserves the funding. No, yours is anything. Ours is far more useful as a department than their department. I'm bribing you because I'm claiming that our that our is agent. I think I've read that before. Did you just? Yeah, it's just not opening to the right message sometimes, huh? Resonance theory. Resonance, it's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. Is it the force? But what if it? What if the vibration is conscious? Oh no, midichlorians. What could a force like that do? 
<laughs> wow, that, uh, I wasn't expecting that to come around that quickly. Blech. Open the door to a. Uh, I've called uh, the. Uh, emits a force that is far beyond the forces we've. You keep saying force. You can't keep saying force we've previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder. Is, re is resonance the key element in all altered phenomenon? AWEs, altered items, objects of power. Do they share a common uh, that, that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if resonance has been the answer this whole time? What if my secondary consciousness is tapping into said resonance? Is that a real plant? It looks so much like a bunch of butter butterflies or, or uh, bow ties, ribbons. Oh, why aren't you opening the same page? Astral Plane Court Counter Essay. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the an entity or group of entities that have little information we have little information on, or little that I am allowed to access, in his written reports. He states that there's a clear link between the objects of power, the the astral plane, and the oldest houses itself. His work supposes these links are innate, a fact ingrained into every of objects such as the hotline or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the what but had connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power required such direct contact with the Instead, it's strange that Using the service weapon or hotline will result in grievous harm or self-death if the user is not the director, or at least worthy of the role. Why do we assume this involvement by the is a natural fact, and not something more... Every now and then it's like, okay, they're consistently censoring the subject, a specific subject, over and over again. So I'm like, okay, that censoring makes sense. They don't want us to know what that one thing is they're referring to. But then it's like, some of the censoring is like, eh, it's done, I'm just gonna not finish that sentence. It's like, I, oh, come on, man. Whoa. I shot the fan out of the cage without the cage coming open. That's freaky. I killed the smiley faces, I'm so sorry. We have fun here. Checkmate, globe heads. 